good morning guys welcome back to my channel um it's ariana if you're new please subscribe welcome back so i pretty much finished all my classroom setup videos the last one that went up and since then i've been doing small things in my classroom like putting labels on the table you know just little things that need to be done so we've been in pd since that last video so since last monday so since I went to New Staff Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday, everybody went to training. The same thing for Thursday and Friday. Oh, not Friday. Friday we had our first meet the teacher. Today is Monday. We have our second meet the teacher. Then tomorrow we have our last PD slash planning, and we start school Wednesday. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the room. How I have it set up for meet the teacher. That um, wild work. It's still on the floor, so I'm going to probably have to fold it up and put it back behind the desk since my first pair is coming in at 8 unless I can, because I can't get it hung up. Because I have stuff on the wall where I want to hang it for me, the teacher. So I'm going to quickly fold that up, hide it behind the desk, and then once we finish with the teacher today, I will hang it up. And then later on today, I'll show you like my classroom door because this year our theme is superhero, so I'm doing Black Panther, Learning Forever, hashtag Wakanda Forever, and then... Everybody's just doing different superhero things, so like twisting their phrases. And now I have an assistant, and she's always in here. It's not a problem, but it's just weird filming in front of somebody you've never filmed before. And we just met like Wednesday, so this is a new territory to me. So it's weird. So I'm gonna give you an overview of the room, basically like a quick classroom tour slash um, parent orientation get up. But they come. For 45 minutes and i have two groups today and then i have one virtual so before i show you the room i'm gonna send her the link for the virtual but yeah it's pretty much the same thing <laughs> and i do a 45 minute well they do paperwork and then like the last few minutes i do like a 15 to 10 minute powerpoint depending on how long it takes and how many questions they ask and then parents still have questions at the end so that's about it it's been going good and it's so exciting me and my new friends and they're just so shy and then in the corner there is a humongous chrome card or computer card or technology card that I have to find somewhere to place that has a plug so it can't stay where it's at but yeah i'm gonna stop talking and do those things when parents come in they sanitize and sign in I have all my little cubbies And then they pick a cubby and drop school supplies. I've only had two brain school supplies. <sighs> That's that Chrome card. Very important how your child get home. Then they have to fill out all these papers. And pay money back here. I got the screen for the word wall to hang it up. I haven't finished my library yet, but I did hang up that number line. I stopped at one on one. But yeah, and you can see the wild work is still on the ground. Here's gonna be my focus wall. I have the pieces. Just have to put it up, or maybe it'd be the other one. <laughs> I didn't bring my laminator to make name tags for today. Well, yeah. Here we go. It's a nice spin around of the room. My door. <sighs> Had the worst for the focus wall. My wild work. And my work wall. Hey, so I'm home. So, finished meet the teacher. Not meet the, I guess, meet the teacher because I'm the teacher and they met me. So, meet the parents slash students slash parent orientation. So, um, as of right now, I have 15 students on row. <coughs> yeah, 15 on row. It's so exciting and I can't wait for them all to come on um, Wednesday. So, I started off with 
12, and then I ended up with 14 by Friday, and then today I ended up with another one that came in, like, right as meet the parent with meet the teacher slash parent slash organization was ending. So, yeah, so exciting. So, they, the other people on my team said that the numbers will continue to grow as we get closer to school, and on the first day, I may have students in my class that I have never met before. But when I did teach pre-K, we had a limit of 20 kids, and that was a cutoff, and that was it. You couldn't get no more. So this is different, and I'm worried um, that we'll start teaching the curriculum, and we'll still have kids enrolling, and that they'll be behind, and I don't want anybody to be behind. So that's the only thing I'm worried about, is that we're having to teach the curriculum so soon, probably the first week of school. But hopefully we hold off and wait till next week. And this week we've just been doing procedures. But I know we have a lot to get through with foundations. So. But I just don't want anybody missing out on anything. And then been behind because I know it's important to get all the steps from the beginning. So right now I'm working on their tags. I have a few things to do at home that I'll bring you along with, with me as I do them. So this video won't be so short. But I do have their tags. So. I got them off Teachers for Teachers for free. And they are by 2015 Samantha Kelly. So I printed off the ones in color. I printed off Bus Rider. Printed off the Car Rider. And I print them off on cardstock. And then I'm going to laminate them. And I printed off the daycare because we have a lot of daycare children, especially in kindergarten. You want your baby to go somewhere safe when they leave school. So I think I got one or two bus riders, but we have to do those. These are a specific way. So um, I have to put their addresses on the back. So I have to get on our account and see the addresses. But it just has their name, teacher name, bus number. And then on the back, I'll write their address. And then I probably put my classroom number. And then car rider, I have to put... Um, my name, their name, and then on the back, I have to write who's picking them up. And then here at the back, I have to put which daycare they're going to because we have like seven or eight daycares that pick up at our school. So that's another thing. There is there are a lot of daycares. There's a lot of different pickups. But I do have at least one or two children going to each daycare. But I have about six different daycares just from my class. So, yeah. So, that should be fun. So I'm just going to go through the list of what the parents told me and write it down. That's how I'm sending him, them home on Wednesday. They're not allowed to change. They can change after the first week. But this first week, what they say goes. And then after that, they can change to keep down all the confusion of the back and forth. So I'm going to fill these out with what they gave me today. Because I did ask them twice. I asked them when I called them last week. That I asked them again today, and everybody seemed to be stuck with their answers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill those out, laminate them, and then after that, I have a list. I have two lists. So I have a at school list and an at home list. So I have to pull up my Cricut and type up book return. So I want my book to return label. Then these are my back to school labels. Then I have to make their cubby labels. Then I have a student who named a spell wrong on her name tag. Not my fault. And I'm, I just did what I saw. Um, then I have a new student, so I have to make them a name tag. Then I have to get a sign for my bathroom. Then I want to look on Teacher Space Teachers and see if I can find myself a um, weather. Because my bundle that I bought this year didn't come with it. The one I did last year did. So if I don't find one I like, then I'll probably just get the one I used last year. But find me a weather. And I want some more stuff to go with my calendar. And that is it. So I'm going to work on this. And since it's such a private event, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll catch up with you when I'm working on some of this other stuff.
All right, so I finally get to hanging up the wild work wall. So I thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, map it out, put it on the big back paper, put on the little squares, color squares, put on the border, the words, all that, then hang it up for me to get to put it up. And it's too tall for the wall. It's too tall, so I have no idea. School starts tomorrow. I have no idea. Yeah. So, we'll see what I come up with. Because I was going to put it in the hall. But then, I was advised not to. So, the students won't tear it up. Because it's very nice. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know at all. But I do have other stuff to be doing. So, I'm going to do some other stuff that I need to be doing. Like putting up roll in the hallway. Putting up school supplies. Finish the focus wall, finish the work wall, and then I come back to this wall. Because I don't only have a little bit of time in here today because of all the meetings. So, yeah, a bit stressed, but it's okay. That's the first week of school. If you're not stressed, it's not the first week of school. So, I'll catch up with you later. What y'all think of that focus wall? Yeah, I made everything too big because I'm used to having a bigger board. Everything I have is bigger. Because last year the space above my wall was bigger. So that's why I made that big. <laughs> Plus I'm having more students. But the word wall did not fit up there. I tried to do it across the bottom. But it didn't fit. But they look cute. With the focus and the colors in the back. Because I forgot my paper was black. I made all my letters black. So I got one more meeting to go through the day. And then... We get to come back in our classrooms. But all our meetings been learned out early today, so we can have time to work on our classrooms in between the meetings. So they've been they've scheduled for like three hour periods, but we end up being done in like an hour, sometimes thirty minutes. The first one was thirty minutes. About forty five. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to finish lunch, go to my meeting, come back. And finish my list of stuff that I have to do before tomorrow. And I have a lot to do. But my assistant fixed all the pencil bags. So those are ready for tomorrow. Then we have to clean out the cubbies. Get all the supplies out. They school provided backpacks. Got to write names on backpacks. Put those in cubbies. Get the name tags ready on the tables. Got an activity for them to do when I get here. So much, so much. So little time, so little time. So I'm going to eat. And I'll catch up with you guys later. guys so I made it through the first day of kindergarten <laughs> um I'm trying to decide which is hard the first day of pre-k or the first day of kindergarten they both have their challenges but um the best thing is there were no criers I didn't have no criers everybody came in they were excited to be there um yes that's the good thing. So they were, came in. They were excited to be there. They were ready to learn. And teaching curriculum on the first day of school is like, I don't know. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, gosh. So I'm trying to keep up with the new kids. And teach them new curriculum and rules and procedures. It's a lot. I had one student fall asleep because they're not used to 
the um, being woke. They used to have a nap time. So, yeah, good halfway through math. I had a student fall asleep straight up in the chair. So, I will say they did pretty good until, you know, that afternoon. Oh, so tired, so sleepy, and they nap. But other than that, it was a great day. I am about 50, 65% ready for tomorrow. I received the rest of my curriculum this morning. And so I was able to kind of sort of teach from it. But since I got it, I was able to, um, uh, so I got it this morning. And I was, I got it this morning, so I was able to teach this morning. But I didn't know what I was doing because I've never seen the curriculum before. But, you know, I was able to read and kind of go with it. Okay, I've seen it before in training. But, like, to have it and study it, I'm able to do it tonight. So, I have the curriculum. I bought it home. I was able to go through it after school and get all my materials prepped. So, the only thing I've left now is to re figure out how to do iReady. I do not know anything about iReady. And I'm trying to follow the pacing guide because it's basically telling me what to do step by step. But my brain is fried and I can't figure it out. And it's the simplest thing. So I'm going to read it again. Then when I finish that, I finally have to get access to my math account. Pretty vision. I got the password, but it's not letting me in. So I'm going to keep playing with it until it lets me in. And then after that, I can review my math lesson. And then I'll be 100% ready for the party. Isn't that right? So, the first day of school was good. I survived. I'm sorry I didn't vlog much, but it was a busy day. So, today was a busy day. Let me give you a rundown of the whole day before I end the vlog. So, it's hard being two places at one time. I cannot be at work at 645 and daycare at 645. So, go to daycare. So, I can't be at two places at one time. Because his daycare opens at 6.45. They want us at school at 6.45. Students start coming in at 7.10. I was at work before 7.10. I would give you that. But I got to daycare. And this is a plan. Because his daycare is like four streets over from, four to five streets over from my school. So, my plan was to drop him off at daycare. Take the back road where there are no stop. It's one stop light. One stop light. And I'll be at my school. But the bridge is out on the road at my school that connects the road. So I have to go back through the main park. And there are 15 million stoplights. The speed limit is 40. And it, yeah. Mm. So it takes longer to get. Because I have to go to work from home, past my job to this daycare. And the daycare is not even that far away. So, anyway, we made it. Both made it to where we need to be. And then I had a few minutes to run copies when I got there. And then immediately the students started coming in at 7.40, 7.10. Everybody showed up except for one student. So, that is great. Um, then we... It took us a long time to get settled because they were eating breakfast in the classroom. They were still coming in. And the principal, normally, you know, we start at, the mission stops at 745 and that's when the principal come out and then at 8 o'clock we start curriculum. That did not happen today. We didn't start curriculum until 845. Because kids were still coming in, still coming in, still coming in. But at 845 we started our micro, Michael Heritage, Heri, the Michael, the Michael man. All right, we started his curriculum. I cannot say his name to save me. So we did that, and then that didn't take long at all. They like picked up, I explained what we were gonna, we want our rules first. How about teaching rules? Then we started the curriculum, then with the Michael, the Michael, then we did foundations, and that was not long at all. That first lesson, did, uh, foundations, it's five minutes tops. It was really not long, but I just kept going over it. So it stick. We'll review tomorrow, and we'll phone lesson two. Then we went back to the tables. I looked at them for their names because I have already, but I'm not, I don't have all my pieces that I already yet, and I told you I didn't understand what I was saying. So I wasn't really sure, but yeah, we did our, we did not do already. I read 
after they did their writing, we came back to the carpet. I read the book, and you know, we did the pigeon has to go to school. You know, I made it all extra, and I had a few of them after I finished asking them again. Then after that, we went to recess. Then we were supposed to have planning, but not the first week, so we didn't have planning. Then we had lunch. We were under the impression that they were going to bring lunch to us. Then they said, all kindergarten teachers, if you haven't got your lunch, come to the office and pick it up. And we were like, come to the cafe and pick it up. I'm like, what? So now I'm rushing to line up all the kids, get them six feet apart of line on a red dot to the cafeteria, and get halfway there just to find out that I could have just sent my sister to get the lunch and didn't have to bring the students. So I was like, okay, we already moving. Let me go down. Because there was classes on both sides, so I couldn't turn them around there. So we took the cafeteria. And somebody else had my lunch in their car. <laughs> so we just turned around and came back. So, but they did get out. They walked. They practiced walking in the hallway. It was terrible. But that's okay. It's just strictly for the first day. <laughs> um, then we came back, ate lunch. Then it was math time. We did math. Um, what do we do for math? We. We just counted to 20 because I didn't have access to my math account. I still don't, but I have the password. I been had the password, I just didn't know that's what that was. <laughs> I don't feel terrible. Um, but we went tomorrow. We went to the tables. We wrote our numbers. They drew a picture. And I let them pack their backpacks up because it was time to go. So, yeah. That was all that happened today. Right? And then we couldn't leave school because there were students missing. And I didn't get home to almost six o'clock. Yes, so we had to stay just in case it was one of our students. But I haven't received a call, so all my students made it home safely. I'm assuming because it's 719, and I haven't received an angry phone call yet. So most of my kids were go went to daycare or were car riders, and that makes me feel safer. And then, because I know they'll get to a second location, there's somebody looking out for them. And then, there were four of them got on a bus. So, not too bad. It was a good day. And I'm ready for tomorrow. But that's all for this video. I know it's a bunch of stuff mixed into this video. Like my classroom lookover. Let's, it's a lot. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around. I know it's crazy. And hopefully can get back into making vlogs once everything settles down but right now it's just a tad bit crazy and my schedule is packed but that is all for today and i will see you guys for the next video bye